Hey everybody, it's Sunday, it's time for story time. I know it's been a couple weeks, but it was the holidays and I got busy and things get really, really crazy around here at Proust, but crazy in a good way. So I just kept busy with everything and I didn't really have time to do videos. But I'm back, it's a new year, so happy new year everybody. I have an awesome guest with me today that I have never used before. Um, and it's because of where they live, it gets really hard to bring certain animals out. If you've ever been to our store, it's gigantic. We have everything. We have birds and reptiles and amphibians and tropical fish and saltwater fish. So I don't get to feature a lot of the things like saltwater fish because, well, they live in a tank. It's kind of hard to bring them down here. But today, I did bring one because this one's a little bit easier to transport. It comes from all over the world and you know them as sea stars. This one is called a red thorny sea star. Uh, probably for obvious reasons. He's got these bumps all over him that look like thorns and they happen to be red. Now, sea stars are pretty amazing creatures. It's kind of hard to see on him right now, but his mouth is right there. And these tiny little arms are actually moving. You can kind of see when I tilt him up. Now, they have an amazing ability they can actually protrude their stomach and their mouth parts out of here and eat something much larger than what their mouth really is. These guys are known for eating things like clams. So all these little suckers you see moving around right now, they will grab a clam, pry them open, and then the stomach comes out of there and engulfs that clam's insides and then he starts to eat them and suck them back in. Sea stars aren't in danger, but they can actually be a threat to endangered animals like clams and mussels, and they can actually destroy entire reefs. Like one sea star could easily eat 50 baby clams. Now, certain sea stars can regenerate their limbs. So that means something might come up and break this limb off, this whole arm, or it might get bitten off by something. But over the course of time, like a year or so, it can actually grow that whole thing back. And that's because each of these arms contains vital organs and part of the digestive tract. They need them to survive. So they have the ability to completely regrow them. Kind of like how a gecko can regrow its tail, these guys can regrow an arm. So they're very, very cool. They move very, very slowly. He doesn't really want to move much right now. And I think I'm kind of at a threshold of where I don't want him out of water anymore. They can survive quite a long time because they'll end up like at the ends of beaches and when the tide goes in and out, they'll still be on the rocks and then they can slowly crawl away. But as you know me, I don't like to make any animal uncomfortable. So I just put him back in his water and he can sit there while we read today's story. And I picked them because today's story is called Octopus Escapes. We don't carry octopus here because octopus escape. So they're very, very smart and crafty creatures and not ones that are really great for captivity unless you're a very large aquarium or zoo that has the ability to have them. So. We don't really do that here, but we do have other sea creatures, you know, like the sea star. So, with that, I'm going to read Octopus Escapes by Nathaniel Lackenmeyer and illustrated by Frank W. Dormer. Octopus waits, guard closes gates. Octopus push, octopus squish. Aquarium sleeps, octopus creeps. Octopus grabs, look out crabs. Octopus slides, Octopus hides. Tentacle swish, swim away fish. Octopus splash, octopus dash. Octopus pounce, Octopus bounce. Octopus bowls, octopus rolls.
Shark Teeth Clink, Octopus Ink. Octopus Peaks, Octopus Streaks. Octopus Smush, Octopus Whoosh. New Day Begins, Octopus Grins. And that's it. Octopus Amazes. So, this story is actually based on real stuff that happens at aquariums all over the world because as I mentioned octopi are super super smart and they figure out how to get out of their aquariums they can walk on land for short periods of time and their flippity floppity arms go all over the place and they go into other aquariums and they've been known to go and eat fish out of, the, out of other aquariums and then go back to their own they basically wreak havoc during the night they are mischievous little creatures and absolutely amazing so I hope you enjoyed our story, Octopus Escapes. Uh, this one doesn't really have a moral story like some of our stories do. This one's just a fun one about how cool octopus are. And then I hope you learn a lot about our thorny sea star here. Our thorny red. He's so cool. I wish he could say hello, but you know, whatever. So I will see you guys next week.